Hello, this is Trisha from Sandy and Auto, and I'm having a black and white vintage and antique inspired uh, art sale. Uh, so these uh, prints that I have, somebody made all of these. Um, I don't know where they found the images. They are, um, yeah, they're on some kind of a nice paper stock. They're all black and white images. And then they made frames for them. Uh, so I've got a whole collection, lots of different subject matters. And yeah, so I just decided to put them all together and uh, showcase them. Uh, so each item is going to have a price and a number associated with it. And if you would like to purchase any of the items, just be the first person to put the number in the comments below. I'll reply back and let you know if you've got it or if someone else has already claimed it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell, change it to all. And uh, that way you'll be notified when I put out new videos, um, buy it nows, and when I do uh, my live sales. Um, and also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Okay, uh, so lots of different sizes on these. Let me get my little measure out so I can give some sizes on these things. So here is the first one. You can see this one's very 1920s inspired. Looks like he's going to wipe away her little tear. Um, so here in the back, most of these do have this Whimsy by Gump. And it does have a little hook for hanging on here. Uh, this little one happens to be six by three. So fun for small space. And this one is going to be $5. So I'll let you know ahead of time. Most of these are going to be $5. I've got a couple at the end that are going to be a little more than that. But I just decided these are going to be about $5. Um, so $5, six by three, and it is number one. Okay, next one is a smaller size. Again, beautiful 1920s inspired couple, handmade frame. This one measures three and a half by three and a half. Great for a small space. And this lovely one is gonna be $5 and it is number two. Okay, next we've got a gorgeous lady. Looks like she's traveling. She's got her luggage. Love that outfit. So pretty. Measurements on this one are five and a half by three. So five and a half by three for this lovely lady. And she's going to be $5. She is number three. Okay, this one. I think Joe got close to this one because I am seeing a little couple strands of black cat hair on there. This is so cute. Look at this. This guy with his little horse and, and carriage. And then it looks like the cat's are interested in something that he's got in the back. Just a really cute silhouette style. Uh, this is about seven inches by five. So seven by five on this one. Again, handmade frame. This is going to be $5. And it is number four. Okay, next we've got this cute gal selling her flowers. 
Looks like she's got some flowers in her bonnet. Maybe a little flower right here up front also. Very cute scene. This one is eight inches by six. So an eight by six on this one. And this is going to be $5. And it is number five. Okay, next, looks like we have maybe a father and son doing some gardening. They've got the plants, the little pots here, the shovel, the rake, they are ready to go. Just a fun little whimsical picture would be really fun in a little gardening shed. Oh, also, I want to point out, none of these have glass in them. And this is seven and a half inches by nine inches. So seven and a half by nine for the gardening gentleman. And this one is going to be $5. And it is number six. Okay, next, looks like we're going back to the 20s or so. We've got this lady who's looking nice and warm. I think the gentleman's scowling at her a little bit. And you can see it's maybe autumn inspired with some leaves falling down. This one, it's going to be a little hard to tell, but there's like a little wrinkle or something right here that is causing a little bit of loss on the black there. Uh, this is six and a half by seven inches. So six and a half by seven for this fun couple. This is going to be $5 and it is number seven. Okay, next we've got another couple. This one's a little more, maybe they're dancing or just embracing. She's got quite a bustle on her dress. Beautiful flowing hair. And this one measures eight inches by six inches. So eight by six for the lovely couple. And this is going to be $5, and it is number eight. Okay, next. Maybe a music lesson here, or just the ladies of the house putting on a concert. We've got, looks like piano, cello, and violin. Beautiful picture. I love that one. Very nice and tranquil. It is eight inches by seven inches. So eight by seven on this one. And it is five dollars. And it is number nine. Okay, next we've got a lovely courting couple done in a silhouette style. And she's got quite some hoops or undergarments there to get her skirt nice and puffy. This one measures eight and a half inches by eight and a half. So eight and a half by, by eight and a half. Ooh, lost my voice. And this one is going to be $5, and it is number 10. And again, all of these do have hooks on the back for hanging. So here is a nice scene in front of the fireplace. We've got the little dog curled up. There's a little tree right there. Nice fire going. 
And this one is 11 inches long by six and a half inches. So 11 by six and a half. And this one's going to be $5 and it is number 11. Okay, got another couple here. I have no idea what is going on here. <laughs> Although it does look a little cold. He's got a scarf, she's got a hat on. This one measures nine inches by seven. So nine by seven on this one. And this is going to be $5, and it is number 12. Okay. This one looks, I'm going to say this is bright and early in the morning with the sun coming up. Cute couple. He almost looks like he's wearing like a golfing kind of outfit. This one measures seven and a half inches by about seven inches. So seven and a half by seven for this cute couple. And this is gonna be $5 and it is number 13. All right, another couple. Again, I love all of these slightly different time periods, so you get to see some uh, different wardrobes on the people. It's a lot of fun. Now that looks like a little padded uh, seat there that they're on. I can see some of the cushioning there. This one measures nine by eight, so nine by eight inches. And this cute couple, $5, number 14. Okay, next we've got some people working in the field. They are getting that uh, straw or hay together there. Nice houses in the background. And this one measures. Let's see, that is nine and a half inches by eight inches. So nine and a half by eight. And this one is going to be $5 and it's number 15. Okay, on a similar note, here we go. We've got some more working. Got some birds in the background here. They are showing how hard that used to be to get all the hay together. This one measures 11 inches by six and a half inches. 11 by six and a half. And this one's gonna be $5 and it is number 16. Now, before I get to the last two that I have that are gonna be a little higher than $5, I wanna point out that I do have two of these wooden stands. So they are made so that the pictures, if you didn't wanna hang it on a wall, you could put it right here on a stand and display it. Uh, so these stands, they're gonna be just $1 each. So if you would like a stand for your photo, $1 each, and they are going to be number 17. Okay, now on to the last two that I have. Uh, they're a little bigger. Subject matter is really cool on this one. So look at this really old automobile with the family in there. Oh, this one is so neat. Uh, it measures nine and a half by
by 11. So nine and a half by 11. This one's going to be $10 for this one. So $10. And it is number 18. Okay, now this one is in an actual frame with glass. I think that's glass. It has some weight to it, so I'm going to say it's glass. This one, oh, so cute. <laughs> All right, interesting photo on this one, and she's got, look at that teeny tiny little waist. This one is in a 11 by eight and a half inch frame. So 11 and a half, 11 by eight and a half on this photo. This one's also going to be $10 and it is number 19. And that is the last one. So again, if you are interested in purchasing any of these, uh, just be the first person to put the number in the comments below. And if you have questions on any of the items, please put those in the comments and I'll reply back as quick as I can. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.